Okay. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to use teleports. I did a video on this a long time ago, and I think I... I don't know if I did another one recently. I, I double-checked. I didn't find anything on it. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to make this work. Now, teleports are pretty easy to use. Easier to use than jump pads, actually. Your teleport pad. On entered. Make sure the arrow is pointing in the direction you want to exit the pad. There we go. And then, of course, what you want to do, I'll enter this one. Set it to this one. Teleport to there. Come on, come on, load up. Here. Made it across. Went back. Made it across. Went back. Real simple. Another thing you can do with these, when arrived, you can say we want to spawn something. Um, first, we're gonna make this thing disappear. Actually, wait, does it have an option for that? Do no, it doesn't. Star, we're gonna hide that so it doesn't show up here. <clears throat> and then we cross, it'll spawn that thing in. Actually, let me just double check real quick. Yeah, it'll respawn it. see from here, but there's probably no gun over there, so now if we walk through this, it spawns in. So you can do stuff like that with it. <clears throat> you can also use the trigger monsters and boss battles and stuff like that when it comes into also, so you can do that too with it, because it's actually a trigger. That's a standard teleport. I'm just going to make a custom one. So let's say you want to use, or have an invisible one, so to speak. Use a uh, box trigger. Yeah, let's widen this up a little bit. Yeah, about 200 by 300. Okay. What you can do, entered, go to a room, where is that room I had? There it is. Go to a room like this. <coughs> Teleport destination. Again, make sure the arrow's pointing in the direction you want to be uh, facing when you come in here. So now, <clears throat> the level starts up.
there you go. You can't go back, unfortunately. You gotta set up another one to go back. But that's just if you wanna, like, set up a certain, uh, <clears throat> like, just, let, let's say you're at the end of a level. And you wanna put, like, a key or a, uh, or a trigger at the end of the room. You could put something like that in the beginning of there, hide it, you know, make it invisible. So that when the person, when the player goes through that, oh, it sends them here and they gotta deal with even more enemies. So that, that's another cool trick. <clears throat> no, another thing you could do is let's say you want to do it by entering a room. This is actually pretty easy to use, by the way. On entered. And that'll send us over there. go up here through in that, into that room sends me over here so really easy trick actually it's really easy to use when you know what you're doing <clears throat> easier than jump pads to be honest with you but jump pads are still kind of fun when you know what you're doing with them these are even easier Basically, anything like a trigger, anything uses a trigger. Like you can even use, like, uh, like one of these triggers. You can even use one of these. Just put this here, link it to that, and it'll work. It'll send you there, no matter what. Cool thing you can do with the box trigger. Oh no way! There's no. Uh, ah, shit, I forgot. <clears throat> you got to use a different. Uh, you got to use a blocking. Uh, the blocking volume behind that. You put that there, you could put a, um, like a Sky Dome um, texture on there, and you can use that so it looks like you're going through to another world, and all of a sudden, bam, you're, another, you're in another world at that point. <clears throat> so th that's basically how you can get those to work. Another thing you can do is, let's say, put this enemy here. <laughs> Killed. Now teleport us there. <laughs> this is showing you guys options of how to use it. But you can get really creative when you know how to use triggers in this game. this guy and we're here okay so it's basically just showing you guys how, how it works <clears throat> yeah and that's basically how they work these are great for multiplayer maps because you just put two and as long as you link them, you'll know exactly where they go. Or you can put like a bunch of them in here and just link them in random spots and they'll go to different places. And of course, this one is good for when you just want to go one way uh, to a certain spot. And it's good for story-based missions. Okay? So, that being said, hope you all found this helpful, and you all take care. <clears throat>